Hello. In this video, I'm going to explain how to do a data extract from the GFS Data Explorer. Here we are on the GFS Data Explorer homepage. You can go over to the sign in area over here and as hopefully you've already made an account, uh, sign in with that information. <clears throat> and you can see here my GSS account has uh, several different projects in it. Uh, the project that we're looking at today is the one with the variables that reflect our final labs. Um, and so I'm going to click on that example here. And here we have the overview of my variables of interest for fall 2017 you should have a similarly named file from your variable selection lab. Scrolling down the page, you'll see there's four main areas. The variables, and here should be listed all of the variables that you've selected uh, for the variable selection lab. To the right of that are searches. If you've done any, um, you may or may not. In the bottom here, we have an analyses area, and some analyses are possible to do in the GFS Data Explorer. And our main area of interest is this extracts box in the bottom right, and we are going to create a new extract by clicking on the plus button in the upper right-hand corner of the box. Now we're in the Create Extract screen, and we're going to be able to select our variables and download them in the format of interest for our further analysis. The first step is to name your extract. So give your extract a name that fits with our naming um, patterns. So here you can see mine is Petrac Rachel. This is my GFS data download. And because I have a few similarly named files, I'm going to have to make this maybe version four. <laughs> so click Next, uh, and as you can see here, now you'll choose the variables that you want to download, and this is how you get just the variables you're interested in looking at in your Excel file rather than all 5,000 variables that are in the whole GSS data set. So you can confirm that you've got the right number of variables by looking over to the right in the variable cart. See, I can see that there are 11 variables here, and that is the number of variables I was expecting. You can scroll through them and see each variable and confirm that it's there. Um, and what we want to do is add all of those variables to uh, the download cart. And notice that a couple other variables come along in addition to the ones that you selected, like the GSS year, the respondent ID, um, and the ballot used for the interview. And these are used by the survey developers themselves and in the data to identify each respondent uniquely and to help us keep track of which versions of questions and surveys they got. Click Next. And our next screen is for case selection. We are not using case selection in this data preparation stage. So you can just click Next right through that screen and see that the last option here is to choose the output options for the years and file type. So click Select Certain Years. I have chosen 2014 as my year because that's the year that, uh, a year that includes all of the variables that I selected for analysis. So you want to choose the same year that you chose for the variable selection lab to make sure that you have data for all of your variables and in the same year together. So you can see here the file format we want is an Excel workbook and the data plus the metadata. This gives us the actual data and the metadata is what tells us what each of the, um, it gives Excel the information about the file to make it a little easier for you to use. So create the extract. 
you can see that it's processing here. It takes a minute and then we'll be able to download it and open it up.